So we have our trees now all laid out on the hillside and it's all looking good. But then somebody comments, hey, you know, those trees, the ones with the dark uh, green bits on, they're the same color as the hill, aren't they? And then it begs the question, well, should I change the color of them? But then if I do that, am I going to have to ungroup all those three trees and click on each green bit and change the color three times? Thankfully, no. Um, we can select those with something called the magic wand. It's a color selection tool and it completely ignores the fact that things are in a group and it selects things inside of a group. So if I go to the third tool down in the tools panel, that's the magic wand. And then you are left thinking, what do you do with this tool? So I would suggest you go back to the tool and double left click on it in the tools panel to open up its dedicated set of options. So as we can see in here now, slightly more informative that when you click on something in Illustrator, it's going to select that thing and anything else which has exactly the same fill color. But more importantly as well, the tolerance in there means that when you click on something, yes, it will select anything with exactly the same color, but it will also select anything that's within 20 shades lighter or darker of the thing that you click on. So the bigger the tolerance, the more things you are likely to select in your document. I would suggest that in many scenarios, it's better starting with a small number and um, and then building the number higher and higher if you don't get what you need. So in my case here, I'm going to just swipe over that, vol uh, that, term, that value for tolerance and change that to one. So in here, I really don't want to select the green on the hill in there. I'm hoping that it's ever so slightly different than the color of the trees in there. They do look very, very similar. So I'm going to hover over one of those tree canopies, that's the dark green, and left click. And there we go. It's selected now, as you can see, the three dark green canopies that are, well, they're going to be pretty much exactly the same color, but it hasn't selected the green on the hillside. There's enough of a difference, as subtle as it is, that it didn't get selected by keeping the tolerance very, very low. Now, I would suggest as well at this point, switch to your selection tool and then Illustrator will wrap its bounding box around everything in the document that has been selected. So if I now go to view and choose fit all in window, we can see that we have our original trees on the third artboard in there. So that's fine. You know, we will color those at the same time as well, but it's just worth checking that to see if you haven't selected something you don't wish to. And I'll pick up my zoom tool and then I will zoom back into that region on artboard one. So we can see those nice and clearly. And then I'll move my magic one panel out of the way. They're still selected. So I can go over to the fill color chip in the properties panel, left click on that, of course, as we saw this earlier to open up the existing swatches in our document. And we're going to create another new color in here. So I'm going to left click on the color mixer and we're going to input a different value in here. So for the cyan, that's going to be 95. Hit the tab key to go down to the next field, which is magenta. And that one's going to be 47. Hit the tab key once more to go to the yellow field. And that needs to be 97. And then finally hit the tab key once more. And that takes us down to the black and that needs to be 58. And as I showed you before, you, what you might be better off doing is clicking in a different field because that's the only way that Illustrator will acknowledge that you've changed the value in there. Otherwise you have to hit the return key and this dialog box disappears and you've got to go back into it. So we get a, a very, very dark green in here. And then from this point, you can go up to the top right hand side and choose create new swatch. It will then go to the new swatch options, the swatch name in there, um, shown with the color values, we'll change that to canopy and then we'll click OK. And if I go back to my swatches, you can see in here, our newly added very dark green color in there called canopy has now been added to the swatches panel and you can now press return. And then at the top, go to the select menu and choose deselect and switch back to your selection tool. So if you need to make changes to multiple objects, rather than having to go around your document, ungroup things and click on them continuously to select everything you need, the magic wand may well be the answer to that issue. Now we haven't done any saving for a while, so I suggest go to the file menu and go down and click on save.